Good morning to you. This is Jeff Dean here with another great Florida theme park and today a little tour of the Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World. I want to take us through some of the themed walkways. I can only do a part as, at this point in time, they are constructing the Toy Story Land, opening June 2018. And also the long-awaited Star Wars Land, which will be opening sometime in 2019. But in the meantime, they do have several Star Wars exhibits in the park, and several appearances of stormtroopers marching up and down the streets. I'm going to start somewhere in the middle. This is known as Animation Courtyard, which includes some of the park's attractions, including Walt Disney Presents, and that was formerly known as One Man's Dream, which I'll upload sometime later for you. In there you can see lots of the original concept art models of attractions and the rides and castles. Also close by is the Little Mermaid Blacklight Theatre Show. Star Wars Launch Bay, and for the young ones, you've got Disney Junior live on stage. Now, this is the main central hub for various paths that will take you to the different areas. There's a kind of similarity in some ways to this and the Magic Kingdom or Disneyland, especially the way the gardens and walkways have been designed. And then of course the Hollywood Boulevard is this park's equivalent of Main Street USA which comes from the park entrance and leads right up to here. The size of the whole park is 135 acres apparently. The studios at Disneyland Paris in comparison is a lot smaller at 62 acres. But then that makes this larger than the Magic Kingdom. Now I would have actually thought it was the other way round. Quite a lot of the music that you can hear at the moment is from the bygone era of the big bands and they have that playing in the background most of the time. When I first came here, the actual title of the park was the Disney MGM Studios and back in 1998, that's when I first visited, they had just finished the animation movie Mulan which was produced right here in the animation studios. And the second film was Lilo and Stitch. And then the last one was Brother Bear in 2003. Then after that, they closed that section and I guess they continued to do all future works back in Hollywood itself. And if you've seen the movie Ernest Saves Christmas, then that was actually shot here on Residential Street, which was also part of the Batlock Studios tour. And that's no longer here anymore. All oh, this is Echo Lake, complete with its own dinosaur. Not far from here is the Star Tours 3D ride, simulator experience, and one of the all-time favourite outside studio theatre shows, which is the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular. There's some pretty large scenery to say the least and it's all set up to pull apart and reveal even more scenery and props and more stunts. Lots of what would you call these buildings, sort of Art Nouveau style, 1920s, 1930s and all the colours too especially that light blue you tend to see on several pieces of architecture here. Hollywood Vine, as a family buffet restaurant. Now there is a Hyperion theatre here which from time to time has different showings of various things. At the moment it's the Frozen sing-along celebration. There's some that wouldn't actually work for me, but I bet it's a really, really popular thing for a lot of people, especially the young ones. 
Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. There's another look at Echo Lake. It's only a little lake, but it's a nice touch and makes the area look even better. Sunshine out now, that's nice. Yeah, it's lovely. I remember many, many years ago, they had a Who Wants to Be a Millionaire show where all the audience stood a chance to take the hot seat. It sounded like the real thing, it looked like the real thing. There was no actual money though, but instead of like a thousand pounds, you got something like a baseball cap. For 32,000 pounds, you got something else, I can't remember. But if you got a million dollar question, then you had a grand prize, which took two or a family of you to New York and watch the real TV show. Lifelines were pretty similar. There was Ask the Audience, then there was the 50-50, uh, but the most funny lifeline was not ask a friend, but to ask a complete stranger. And they put someone on who just happened to be walking right outside the theatre at the time. And I did actually once see uh, someone get to a million, uh, which was really cool. And once they got to it, they said, you won a million pounds, a million dollars rather. Although he hadn't, he won the prize. Um, and then all this fanfare comes on and lots of noise and all these gold strips were falling everywhere and the audience were going wild. It was, it was, I, I like that one, it was really good. Well, it's a nice day today, thankfully. I am fighting a bit as it clouds over from time to time, but it's more sun than clouds. There's a lot of these tall palm trees everywhere, you notice, just like you find in Hollywood itself. There's also other tropical plants and more gardens on the way. Once the new Toy Story land opens, it will expand the park to quite a bit. And when the Star Wars land opens, it will be huge. Now, whether you're one for rides and attractions or not, it's still a really nice place to take a stroll down all the avenues, especially on a day like today. Lots to see and do, just like all the other parks. The studio is one of four theme parks, the others being the Magic Kingdom, Epcot and the Animal Kingdom, and not forgetting two water parks and wide world of sports. Just around the corner here is a one-on-one -on -one replica of the Chinese theatre that resides in Hollywood Boulevard at Los Angeles. I've been given to understand that it's the same size. I always thought it might have been slightly smaller, but apparently not. I've seen both of them now. Can you see all the handprints from the celebrities here? Now in the meantime, before the new land is open to the public, You'll see several staged events with stormtroopers, robots, Darth Vader. And at the moment, this is where they march up and down the Hollywood streets. Eventually, they'll be getting their own land. And it'll look more in keeping once that actually happens. Several times a day, they march through. I wonder how hot it gets in those suits. 
although they are white so they'll reflect the sun. So this is all a preview of things to come and if you are a huge fan of all these multi-million dollar movies then you're in for a treat. Of course the whole of this park is dedicated to the movies and now you can actually be part of it. This was built around the same time as Universal Studios. Now Universal is I believe so far the biggest competitor to Disney and although the two do have a lot of similarities. They are really quite diverse from each other. See what I mean? It's a similar approach to Main Street USA, only this one is like the highlights of Hollywood Boulevard. That's the name of the street we're on as well. And then right at the end is the famous Chinese theatre, which is the centrepiece. There's a lot of merchandise shops, boutiques, gifts, places to eat. Also from time to time, throughout the day, you'll find actors staging a fictitious movie shoot, which is another sideshow attraction in itself. They're all dressed in period costume from the golden age of cinema back in the 1930s. You'll see a director with his old-fashioned megaphone, the cameraman, the sound recording engineers, everybody. It's one of those things that you might stop at if you happen to be there at the time. Otherwise, most people won't go too much out of the way. I think it's kind of meant that way as well. Now turning the corner into Sunset Boulevard. There's several attractions down this way, including live on stage, Beauty and the Beast show, which lasts for about 30 minutes. And then when it gets dark, there's a really fantastic outdoor amphitheatre. Uh, this huge show is called Phantasmic. It has fireworks, fountains, water features, illuminated water floats, lots of actors. It really is worth seeing. It's very spectacular. Right in front of you at the end, you can see the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror ride. That's the tall red building, and that's where you're taken out of this world experience through corridors and then there's a lift that drops you several stories yes several stories and it does it several times too lifts you up drops you lift <laughs> uh, yeah that's one uh, that's one of the thrill rides Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the brief tour of Disney's Hollywood Studios. Do check out my channel for other uploads from the park as well as other places in and around Florida. And also check out more uploads from parks and places in Southern California. Thanks very much for watching. This is Jeff Dean, take care won't you? And I'll see you all very soon on YouTube.